Your simple answering machine can be turned into a tool of deceit without you even realizing it. It's called war dialing, fancy name for answering machine hacking. Bad guys can pass messages to each other without being traced while you pick up the bill. Only on Fox, David Martin, dial you in. Please leave your name and number and I'll call you back. Doug Chick, author of Hacking the IT Cube, is at work. But he dialed home to change the greeting on his new $15 answering machine. We are unavailable. It's one you can buy anywhere, one of many. Doug accessed it remotely with the default passcode 123. The typical answer machine is either 123 or 1234. There's so many of them available, though, they can, they can just ignore the, the more difficult passwords. They are war dialers, hackers who use computers to dial thousands of numbers searching for vulnerable answering machines, ones where the owners haven't changed the default passcode. It's an open door for hackers to change your greeting to this. Oops, I got it. Sorry about that. Go ahead. Yes, I accept all the charges. So now that phone number can be used as a billing center by bad guys because the operator will hear the new greeting. Yes, I accept all the charges. I read of a woman that she was checking her messages from work and she heard yes, long pause, yes. Well, that was odd. When she got home, she changed her message. And uh, when she got her bill, it was $17,000. And the phone company didn't, didn't let her have that. She, she's on a payment plan with them. So that yes fooled the operator and some thug made untraceable overseas phone calls. Now the only way to protect yourself from this war dialing is to change the default passcode on your answer machine. It requires reading the directions and make that new passcode as complex as possible. Back to you. The prosecutor.